Welcome to the channel. In this video, I spent some time comparing the Lee Nielsen and the Veritas number no. four size with the different degree frogs. So we had the 45 degree frog for both and the 55 degree frog for both. And I was just curious to see if there were any differences. For example, maybe the 55 degree frog is better when you have a heavier plane because the Lee Nielsen is over five ounces heavier than the Veritas plane is. The weight distribution is also different as well. So I just kind of did a little experiment to see, I guess, what my findings were. Um, as you guys can see by the footage, they both do an amazing job. The 45 degree and the 55 degree frogs in both planes work amazing. Um, I want to focus on the 55 degree a little bit more because the 45 was kind of inconclusive. Um, that's all going to come down to preference. I did a video on the Battle of the Fours. I did my opinion on that. And then I also have a past video that compared these two planes to each other. So I'm not going to dive into all that. So focusing on the 55 degree frog. So why would you need a higher angle frog? Let me talk about that for a second. Higher angle frogs are better when you get into difficult grain, curly grain, reversing grain. If anybody's ever worked with mahogany, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Purple Heart likes to tear out a lot, so I always reach for a higher angle plane for that. To explain a little bit too, the Veritas is mine, and I had a 55 degree iron for it, excuse me, frog for it. The 55 degree frog lives in that plane all the time because I have the Clifton at 45. The Lee Nielsen, my buddy Lou let me borrow. He sent me the Lee Nielsen with the 45 and the 55 degree frogs. Thank you, Lou. So before I had that plane with the 55 frog, I would normally just use a low angle jack plane or a low angle smoother bevel up and I would increase the angle of that iron. So for example, it's normally at 25. If I encountered tough grain, I'd go to 38. If I was still having issues, I'd go to 50. But the higher angle you put on the iron for a bevel up plane, it gets significantly more difficult to push and it gets significantly more uh, laborious to use the plane. With bevel down planes, I didn't really see that to be an issue. That's the other reason I wanted to compare this to the Lee Nielsen because I have no issues pushing the Veritas with the 55 degree frog. But with the weight of the Lee Nielsen and the additional weight of that 55 degree frog because it's heavier than the 45, I wanted to see what that felt like. So on that note, the Veritas was easier to push. The Lee Nielsen took more effort. I would say it falls somewhere between the effort of a low angle jack plane and the effort of the Veritas to where it's not as laborious, but the Veritas is just easier. I'm just a guessing because it's lighter. Just a guess and sounded Italian for a second. They both do phenomenal jobs. Um, as you can see, they both take great shavings. I guess the two main points that I would make is the Lee Nielsen took more effort to push. The Veritas took less effort to push. The Veritas was more prone to clogging. The Veritas was, or excuse me, the Lee Nielsen was not. When you look at the Veritas, they have that like huge cap on it. And shavings with that higher angle and the big cap right there, shavings were just getting clogged in there like crazy. Um, I might be able to show you the footage. I actually used the Allen key to clean out the mouth. And I mean, that was even with the mouth super tight, things were still getting jammed in there. And it's because they were hitting that cap. With the Lee Nielsen, you didn't have that issue. Um, with both of them, you can get the mouths as tight as you want them to be. Sometimes I found with the Veritas, I liked it better with the open mouth. It was taking better shavings with the open mouth, but it's going to depend on the wood you're working with and it's going to depend on your preference as well. If you have a Lee Nielsen plane, I wouldn't say go buy a Veritas and put a 55 in it. Just get a 55 degree frog, swap them out when you need them. But on the same note, <laughs> I have two different planes. One at 55, one at 45, because I'm lazy. <laughs> so, um, this was just a quick video. I just wanted to share my findings with you in this little experiment that we did. You got any questions, any comments, anything like that, feel free to let us know down below. I am going to do a separate video that talks about low angle, standard angle, high angle, and try to show you examples on wood of what it does if you use a low angle plane with difficult grain, high angle plane, and what those differences look like. But it's posing a bit of a challenge to get you guys a good visual um, representation of the examples. But I'll keep trying. All right. Thank you all. Have a good day. <laughs>